This is the advanced version of an LCD screen repair. You can see they've gone bad. I've got another video on it. You should watch that one first uh, if you don't uh, know about LCD screens. So what I've done here is this is the, the screen before anything has happened. And this one is what happens when you peel off the back layer. Now you have to peel this off very carefully. If you don't know what you're doing, you can easily ruin the LCD screen forever. But it's glued on here and what happens is uh, something breaks down the uh, shiny silver coating on this. You can see it's gone in the middle and it leaves behind a gluey mess. Um, so that gluey mess has to be removed. Uh, they use different glues so you have to kind of like experiment a little bit. But again, it's very easy to ruin this with uh, you know any harsh chemicals, water, whatever. So you have to clean it very carefully and do a little test area out here in the middle where uh, you know, before you apply it to the rest to make sure that you're not going to cause damage. But again, keep any chemicals away from the edges where it will leak in between the glass layers and keep it away from the zebra strip. So yes, this is a uh, process that needs to be done very carefully. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. This is the one I just finished, and I think you can see it's a vast improvement over that, which is nothing. Um, so what I did is I found out that once I peel off this uh, layer, they actually had a gel layer underneath there. And I used dry alcohol to initially remove the uh, gummy stuff that was left over by this thing. And then I got that all clean. Uh, I used a little bit of water to re-dissolve the gel, and then I stuck the aluminum foil to it. And I think you can see, if I can get the aluminum foil to be really smooth, I can probably get it close to the original. But in any event, I'm, uh, I'm happy with this because it's working. Now you see over here on this edge, I got a little bit of water or, or alcohol or something between the plates. So again, you got to be really careful not to do that. This is the LCD screen put back into the clock that I'm working on. And you can see in this case, uh, this has a foam pad here and a foam pad here to hold the LCD screen in place and I'm also using those pads to hold the aluminum in place. If you don't have the, the pads in whatever device you're working on, you can use like a small piece of tape or implant your own uh, foam pads to hold things in place. Okay, now I've got two more to do. I've got this one to do and I've got this one to do which goes back in there. Well, there we are, three for three. Worked out rather well. The only problem was the aluminum foil I used had uh, brand markings on it from the manufacturer. If I had to do it over again, I would find a flatter piece of aluminum. But, you know, it's not perfect, but it's perfectly usable. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY repair projects.